Hello everyone, welcome back to VTV Sectiona program. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar. So in this mobile application development lecture, I will be demonstrating the working with image view by developing a simple camera application. So the topic that I'm going to cover in this video is working with image view. So what is image view? So as you know that till now we used to work with the text view. Text view, what is the difference between text view and edit text? Text view is used to display the information to the user. Edit text will be used to read the information from the user. Similarly, if the text view, text view is used to display the text means, what is the role of image view then? Similarly, the image view also used to display the image to the user. So there we have lot of variations in the image view. Just the thing is, so here I'm going to demonstrate a very simple example of image view by developing a simple camera application. The role of image view is to display the image to the user or if you want to place image in your application. For example, I need my image to appear in my application. I am the uh, developer this uh, developer of this particular application. In such scenario, you are going to make use of uh, image view and you are going to place the while using the image view if you want the image to be captured in the real time then you have to use bitmap or if you want to use the image which is already there then you can place that image to the drawable folder and you can make use of those images. So in this particular application I am going to develop a simple camera application to demonstrate the usage of image view. So camera means it's not a real camera why because I will be executing in the emulator. So I will show how it will be captured and how it will be stored in the gallery. So gallery itself is a separate one. Image view and gallery both are different. Both are different. Don't get confused. Okay. So coming to the features of image view for any component for that matter. Either image view or it may be text view or anything for that matter. The first important component is ID. That's the unique thing that that's going to identify that particular image view. Another one is height. Another one is width. So along with these three primary attributes that we are going to use in any particular application uh, component. So the another one important one is source. If you are rendering this image from any other application, any other, for example, if it is there, already if it is there, if you have placed that particular application in the drawable folder, then you can use this source. And so the primary thing that you must know with respect to image view, whenever you drag and drop the image view to the design, it will automatically ask the avatar whether you want a particular person image in that or if you want, just if I guess you have observed this. So you might observe the uh, Android icon. Means that's the avatar that we are providing. That's not a image that we are using in this particular application. Why? Because before that image that you want to be rendered in this particular place, place instead of using a empty hollow space, it will provide the Android logo in that particular space. Okay. So let's start the development of a camera application. Firstly, I will list out the, I will uh, place the, uh, I will discuss the design that we are going to use. So this is my design that I'm going to use in this particular camera application or working with image view. So camera, I will give the title camera application. So and I'm going to place the image view like this. And I'm going to place capture button. So you can select the whichever layout you feel comfortable. I will go with the constraint layout itself that I'm going to use in this particular application is constraint layout. Next, I need I need one image view and I need one button. And title purpose for title, I'm going to use the camera application as a title in the form of a text view. So how this application is going to work? I'm going to develop this application by placing three components. One is title, 
image view and button. So once a user clicks on this capture button, so it will open an emulator based camera and it will occupy the uh, uh, capture that particular image that you are going to capture in that emulator and that captured image will be rendered to this particular camera application using bitmap. So let's start the development. My dear learners, so in this uh, video I will be demonstrating how to work with the image view by developing a simple application to demonstrate the working of image view using uh, the camera. So let's open the Android Studio framework. So, so it's a very simple application where the main as uh, aspect of this particular application is to demonstrate how to work with the image view. So to work with the image view, so I'm taking example of camera application. It's a wonderful application. So how to work with the image view? It's a wonderful application uh, that we are going to develop so in this particular video uh, just by demonstrating uh, the image view. So how to add the image view to your Android apps and how to work with the image view. So let's start with this project. It's a simple demonstration of the image view. So let's start create a new project and by selecting the empty activity. So and I'm going to give the name as a camera application and finish. So image view is generally used to hold the images so in your mobile screens. So whenever you come across a camera application, so if you capture an image, so once after capturing that particular image, it will be rendered to that particular image view that you have inserted in that particular application. So same thing will be demonstrated in this application. For that, we are going to make use of two components. So one is for representation of image, we are going to use image view. Another one is um, we are going to make use of a simple button to capture. So based on what I have described right now, firstly, I will start with my design. So I will go with the design part. So I will give a title for this particular application, which I'm going to develop. So the title that I'm going to give is, so I'm going to change the name of this title, text view, which is already there by using a text feature. So I'm going to make it as camera application. And I'm going to increase the font size so that it will be visible in our output screen. Camera application. So next thing, I'm going to add a button. And I'm going to set the constraints as I'm making use of a constraint layout in this particular application. So I need to set the constraints on all four sides. So the constraint layout is very simple, just you have to set the constraint. But the thing is, if you even if you miss one constraint, it's going to lead to a wrong output. So and I'm going to change the text associated with that button and I'm going to rename it as capture. Done. So next, I'm going to add an image view. Why? Because we are demonstrating a simple camera application here. So for that camera application, whenever I click on this capture button, so the captured image should appear in this empty space. So where I'm going to place the image view. So it will ask you for the avatars. So select which one you feel comfortable. And plus OK. And set the cursors as we are using. Constraint layouts, you have to set the cursors on all four sides. Done. So the working of this model is very, this application is very simple. This is a title. So this is a capture button. Whenever user clicks on this capture button, the image which is captured will appear in this image view. So this is a simple demonstration to demonstrate how the image view can be used in our Android applications. 
So firstly, I will work with the IDs. Why? Because I'm going to work with the image view. For that, I need the ID of that particular image view. I'm going to find what's the ID assigned by our system for that image view. So just note down that ID that is image view. So there is no need of altering. So if you are working with the multiple number of components in your design, then there is need of uh, the, so altering the IDs of that image view. So as we are working with the only one component image view, why? Because the remaining things uh, we, we are not going to disturb in our Java part. Either it may be a button or it may be a text view which is there in our design which will not be used in our Java part. So we are going to use only one component. That component name is image view. So just note down the ID of that component that is image view. So let's start the designing or the coding part. So we are done with design. Just look at the design, how it looks. It is whatever, it is somewhat similar to the thing that we have planned. Title of the application and image view and a capture button. So let's go to the Java part. So where we are actually developing the camera application, which is, so we are going to add the functionality which is required for the camera application. So first, I'm going to add a method here, so which I'm going to use in my program. So the method name is public. So which this method will be placed inside the button public void capture. So whichever the user defined method that you're going to use in the program that should be provided with the view. And please note down one thing. So don't type everything manually. Just observe if I type this manually without using the package, it will show error. View, provide the view for that user defined method. So here, yeah, the basic uh, uh, intention is to capture the image and is to render that image to image view. So for that, I'm going to use a intent. So intents means it's nothing but user intentions. I'm going to define an intent and its reference is I. So and it's a new intent new intent so which will be what on media store just observe it's a content provider that we are going to use in our program that is media store media store will be used and what's the action that you want the action that we are going to provide here is that the action that we are going to use here is the image capturing action so whenever a user clicks on a button, that image should be captured and it should be rendered to the image view. This is the action that we are going to provide and close. So as I mentioned in my previous videos, whenever you use the intents, so that intent should be started. Otherwise, the intents will not work without that statement start activity. So but here, so how many images we can capture in a camera application at a time? So we can capture only one image at a time. That's why we are going to start this activity for the result of one, not more than one. Start activity. Start activity for result. Start activity for result. So here you need to pro uh, provide the reference of that intent is I and so for how many results this particular should, thing should work it should work for one that value so it is deprecated that's why you are going to be re, uh, observe this uh, line no problem the method is going to work so just I'm going to use the intent my intent is to caption the image and it will be stored in the media store so the result count is one based on that intent. So next, so we have a overrided method here on activity result. Why? Because so this intent will work based on the result. For that, we need to write a method by name on activity result. So it is overrided on activity result. So it's a protected void on activity result. So where you have to provide the request code and the result code and intent data. So just observe, I'm going to add only one line of code. It is a overridden method. 
So the things which are present in this war return method will be retained as it is, it will not change. So just I'm going to add a simple if statement to check whether the capture has been done by the user or not. So the remaining things, whatever the things that we are present in the overridden method will be the same. Just I'm going to add one line if, if request code is equal to one, then only this logic is going to execute. Why? Because as I mentioned earlier, here we are working with a camera application where the capture will happen for only one image at a time. Okay. So for request code is equal to one, I'm going to call bitmap. Bitmap is nothing but how you are going to represent that image in your application. For that, we are going to use the bitmap. So you might be using image view, but directly you cannot use the image view. You have to use the image view in the form of a bitmap. Why? Because this is the one important thing, how every individual bit will be mapped to your Android application. Bitmap, I'm going to use the reference. So from here onwards, I'm going to refer this bitmap as BM bitmap data dot get extras dot get that data. Done. If the request code is one, we are going to call bitmap. For that bitmap, the data will be obtained by the captured image. So once the bitmap is done, so I'm going to call the image view here. Why? Well, because the image view is going to make use of in turn the bitmap. Image view. So I'm going to give the reference image is equal to image view find view by ID. So find view by ID. So what's the ID that I've told to remember? That is r.id.imageView. Just I'm done with the identification of the image view. Then finally, I'm going to set the image view. This, the, the, the reference that I'm going to use in the image view is image. For this reference, I'm going to set the bitmap. So whenever the uh, image is captured, that captured image will be converted to bitmap. So that bitmap will be represented in the image view with the reference image. So image dot set image bitmap, the reference of that bitmap that is BM will be passed here. So this completes the Java part of this particular uh, camera application, which is uh, so I'm developing this particular application to demonstrate how to work with the image view. So just observe once I, so I have written a user defined method that is capture for which the view has been provided. Then I'm calling a intent. The intention is to store the captured image in media store. The action with respect to that image is image capture. And we can store at a time one image can be captured. That's why the request code is one and I means intent reference. So, and I'm using a overridden method that is on activity result. So if the request code means if the captured image is one. So firstly, convert the captured image to bitmap, then call the image view for that image view set the bitmap. So we have written a user defined method by name capture that should be placed inside that button, which we have designed in the design part. So I will go to the code part of the design. So we have added a button by name capture for that button. I'm going to add this inbuilt method that uh, pre user defined method that is capture. This is a button which we have added in the design for this design. I'm going to add a method by using on click. The method name is capture. We are done with the embedding the method user defined method, which we have defined in the Java part. So once after that, I'm going to execute this to demonstrate the working of image view. So as I mentioned in my previous videos, so there is some issues with respect to Gerald script so that you have to bring it down. So downgrade that one otherwise, so it leads to error that is, so we have to bring it down with respect to dependencies. So the dependencies should be brought down to 1.41 1 1 1.6 
six zero. Then synchronize this one. So this dependencies problem will arise whenever you are going to use the outdated version. As I am using a old version which is two years older. So if you are using a updated version Firefox or Arctic Fox, then you are not going to face this uh, 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 Gradle synchronization error. So just observe. Now I am going to execute this so that we can observe the output. It's a very sim simple application where the image will be captured using the camera and it will be displayed in the uh, image view that we have developed. So image view is a wonderful, uh, like uh, what's the difference between image view and text view? So the text view will be used to display the text information, textual information. So whenever you want to display multimedia information such as images, then we will go with the image view. So for the same image view, if you want to add any animation, you can add the animation file. So that uh, whenever you have want any sort of animation on that multimedia images that we have used in our Android application. So you can uh, animate that by using that animations. So where you have to provide the orientations with respect to X, Y and Z coordinator. So based on your orientation, based on the file, uh, animation file that you have developed. So the animation will happen with respect to that multimedia message that is there in your Android Studio. So that animation file can be added in your resource directory which is there here. So in coming examples, I'm going to demonstrate how to add the animation for this particular multimedia images or image view. So I will use uh, image switcher as an application. Using this image switcher, you can uh, develop a, a simple application. So where the image will be switched, how many images will be placed like your gallery which will be provided start and stop option. So if you click start, the animation will happen. If you click on stop, the animation will stop. So for that, you have to add the animation file inside this resource directory by using any folder name. So the orientation should be provided. For that particular orientation, the animation will happen. So my output is ready almost. The application is getting installed. So once it is installed, I will show the working procedure of image view in the form of a simple camera application. So either it may be image view or it may be text view or any sort of components that you are going to use in your uh, Android Studio, kindly record the IDs, the same ID by using that same ID you can uh, work in the Java part. So please observe here yeah, the output is ready. So title of my application is camera application. It has been provided with a button that is capture. So if I click on this capture, it should open the camera. But please note down this. So as I'm working with the emulator, you, are, you cannot record a real time image. Instead of that, it will have some uh, uh, augmented images which are there. So I will click on this capture. So it will open like this. The camera is getting opened. So just observe, it's not a real image. So if I click on this capture, so it should capture this image and it should render it to the image. So I've captured this. So and please observe, I will click yes. This image has been rendered to the camera application. This is a simple example demonstration on how to work with the image view and how to render that image view, how to, what is bitmap, and how, see, in the form of a simple camera application, I have demonstrated the working procedure of image view. Thank you.